Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a new Canary Channel Insider build for this week, 27768. And just a quick overview as to what is happening for the insiders in the Canary Channel for this week. Now, the first change is actually a change I've posted on previously on the channel, where Microsoft is restoring a Windows 10 File Explorer feature back into Windows 11, which they deprecated with the rollout of Windows 11, where they've added a new folder option now in the context menu when right-clicking locations in the navigation pane. So currently in the stable version, if I right-click one of my folders in that navigation pane, there is no new folder option. With Windows 11, Microsoft um, placed that in the the secondary overflow menu, so to speak, uh, the classic menu, to, when you click on um, show more options. So here we can see new folders, you can create a new folder. So what is basically changing is that if I head to a image um, from a previous video I posted on this, here we can see that in the actual context menu now, without having to click on show more, prop, show more options, you've got the new folder um, in the context menu when right clicking on those locations in the file explorer navigation pane and i think that's a nice move um, just another bit of functionality a little bit of functionality coming back into the file explorer that they stripped out with the rollout of windows 11. and then for the next one um, if we head into our settings time and language date and time Microsoft says that they have restored the ability to change time zones once again under the settings time and date date and time for standard non-admin users. So that's something they pulled, they stripped out and now that's back in this latest Canary Channel ball, just like it is currently in the stable version. So those are the kind of changes or new features for want of a better word. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five fixes for the File Explorer. And as I posted yesterday, I posted basically the, the top four um, issues in the File Explorer that I would really want Microsoft to fix. Um, and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. But um, when Microsoft does work on fixes for the File Explorer, I always think that's a step in the right direction because the File Explorer does need quite a bit of work. Now, the first fix for the Canary Channel is they fixed an issue where the date and time properties of files were unexpectedly updated in some cases after copying them. And they fixed an issue where the file explorer may sometimes lose focus on the search box while typing. And then there's also another search fix where they fixed an issue where when you did a search, it may unexpectedly trigger the search happening repeatedly. And then in regards to the details pane, they fixed an issue where the icons weren't responding correctly to theme changes, which was making it hard to see if you switched from dark to light or vice versa. And then the fifth fix for the File Explorer is they fixed, apparently they fixed a black flash in File Explorer that appeared when duplicating a tab. Now, if we head to that and we duplicate a tab, all I see in the stable version is a white flash, which I want Microsoft to fix. So in the Canary channel, that was a black flash, obviously. So they have fixed that. So those are the five issues that have been fixed in the File Explorer in this week's Canary channel build. And then another fix is an input fix where they fixed an issue that could lead the mouse cursor to unexpectedly stutter when you moved it around. And they also fixed an underlying issue which could result in some games appearing oversaturated when using auto HDR. And then the last fix is they fixed an issue causing some insiders in the Canary channel to experience bug checks with an error page fault in non-paged area. And then of course, over and above those tweaks and adjustments and fixes, because it is very early days in the Canary channel, there are one, two, three, four known issues and that is expected because the Canary Channel is a very unstable build. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.